Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from Quantum, the magazine of math and science. For more information about this magazine, please see the description of this video. In this problem, we have a square ABCD and K is the midpoint for AB. We have a diagonal AC and we know that L is on AC in a way that AL is three times LC. We want to find angle X. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve this problem, we are going to use A for the side of the square, so AB is equal to A. Additionally, we are going to draw a line from L and in parallel to AD. The new line crosses AB at M and DC at N. Since the new line is parallel to AD, we will have two right angles at M and N. Now let's focus on the two triangles that we have here. One of them is ABC with the color blue and the other one is AML with the red border. We are going to show that these two triangles are similar. This is true because angle A is common in both triangles and angle M and angle B are 90 degrees. Since these two triangles are similar, we can write AM over AB is equal to ML over BC is equal to AL over LC. Now let's use A for both AB and BC. And then we will have AM is equal to ML is equal to 3 over 4 times A. Remember K was the midpoint for AB. So we can show that MB is equal to mk is equal to a over 4. Now let's focus on the triangle that we have here in blue as adc and the triangle that we have with red border or lnc. These two triangles are also similar since angle c is a common angle between them and we have d is equal to n is equal to 90 degrees. Since they are similar, we can use the similarity between these triangles to show that ln is equal to nc is equal to a over 4. As a result, nd is equal to 3 over 4 times a. Now let's focus on the two triangles that we have here in yellow. We are going to show that these two triangles are also similar. Each of these triangles has a side with 3 times a over 4 and one side with a over 4 and 190 degrees between these two sides. So these two triangles are similar because of side angle side theorem. Since these two triangles are similar, they are going to have equal angles. Let's use alpha and beta for the interior angles of these two yellow triangles. We want to find x. Note that x can be calculated as 180 degrees minus alpha plus beta. We can use alpha plus beta as 90 degrees. The reason is actually very simple. Alpha and beta are the interior angles for a right triangle. So some of them should be equal to 90 degrees. As a result, we can find x as 90 degrees. And that's our answer. Now let's summarize what we've done. We first used a parallel line to AD from point L to cross AB at M and DC at N. And then we showed that because of similarities between different triangles, we can calculate some of two angles that we have here in blue. We used the sum of these two angles to calculate X. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.